What happens if the word is in your mouth and then in your heart? Faith. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth, God the earth today. today. And you walk with him by Holy saying Ghost word. Of God in the earth My name is Andrew Hemstrut. Thanks for joining us. If the this is your first time here, fun. make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages Holy are Ghost blessing you, the earth today. then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight's message is gonna sound an awful lot like faith preaching. But so many simply don't know the basics. Paul preached faith. Jesus preached faith I preach faith Romans chapter 10 verse 8 but what saith it the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart where was it first in your mouth and in your heart that is the word of faith which we preach what is the word of faith which we preach that the word has to be in your mouth and in your heart what happens if the word is in your mouth and then in your heart faith, faith. another word for faith is belief you will have the right belief listen you will have the right belief if the word is in your mouth and stays in your mouth long enough to get into your heart that is the word of faith which we preach have you heard this before mm -hmm. So our title tonight, you ready for this? Yeah. How to receive anything you want from God. Mm. Now, we should probably qualify that. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 says, "For all of the promises of God are yes and amen." How many promises are yes and amen? All of, them. all of the promises. For all of the promises of God in him are yea, yea, and in him, amen, under the glory of God by us. So it glorifies God when we walk in all of the promises. How does God get glory out of you? You walking in all of the promises. Say all. All. How many is all? all? All means all. How about the healing power of God and youth renewal? Would that be okay? Yes and amen. Is it a promise? Faith is another word for belief. Do you believe that? Healing power, youth renewal. Well, then your faith goes there a lot of other people's faith won't go there and it won't take them there Jesus was a faith preacher let's see what he said is that okay yes. <laughs> so Jesus came again into the land of Galilee where he had made water wine and there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum when he had heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee he went out unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son for he was at the point of death verse 49 the nobleman saith unto him sir come down ere my son die verse 50 Jesus saith unto him go thy way thy son lives and the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him and he went his way and as he was now going down his servants met him and told him saying thy son lives then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend say began yes. to amend and they said unto him yes yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him 
and so the father knew that it was at the same hour in that which jesus said unto him thy son lives and himself believed and his whole house so what did the man believe and the man believed the word that jesus had spoken he believed the spoken word say he believed, he believed. the spoken word. spoken word in verse 52 then he inquired of the hour when he began to amend he believed the spoken word and it was at that same hour mm -hmm. that he began to amend say began. began when was the hour that the child began to amend it was at the moment that the man believed the spoken word the man believed the spoken word and began to amend he believed the spoken word and began say began, began. to amend this is how it works you believe the spoken word and the beginning of the spoken word whatever word was spoken begins to happen say it begins to happen, it begins to happen. this is how it works we're talking about faith Jesus was a faith preacher this is literally exactly how it worked well I don't want it that way I know you don't want it that way chapter 5 verse 5 there was a certain man there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years that was a long time mm -hmm. and when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case he saith unto him wilt thou be made whole mm -hmm. why would Jesus even ask the man that because some people are unwilling to hear the word mm -hmm. and begin amending they don't want it that way but as we can see here you must be willing to have it you must be willing to have it this way say I'm willing, I'm willing to have it, to have it this, way. this way frankly you're not gonna get it any other way you might have wanted a different message but I'm telling you this is how you get it get it you get it by believing the spoken word and having it begin to amend having it begin to take place luke chapter 1 luke chapter 1 verse 37 says with god nothing shall be impossible say with god, with god nothing, nothing shall be impossible this belief that God can do anything is what makes you a believer if you're a believer that's what you believe you believe God and he can do anything this is too difficult what's another word for belief faith with God nothing shall be impossible so your first belief is that God can do anything say my first belief, my first belief is, that god can do is that god can do anything, anything. your first belief is that god can do anything that's what makes you a believer your second belief is be it unto me be the spoken word unto me i will be healed i will have my youth renewed i will be prospered the first belief makes you a believer the second belief makes you the thing said the word spoken Luke chapter 1 verse 45 and blessed is she that believed who was blessed she that believed blessed is she that believed for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord told her from the Lord means what 
those words were spoken those words were spoken and she believed the words spoken concerning her there would be a performance of those words in her life so she not only just believed oh god is able god is able she believed the spoken word was for her and she believed there would be a performance i like that shall be a performance of those words spoken unto her so why mary you may ask she had both beliefs she believed that god could do it and she believed it would be done unto her what would be done unto her the thing spoken when you believe the thing spoken will be done unto you you will have a performance of it in your life welcome to faith is this that difficult well, we can see exactly this remember 37 said with God nothing shall be impossible Luke chapter 1 verse 38 and Mary said behold the handmaiden of the Lord be it unto me according to thy word she had both kinds of faith both kinds of belief she believed God could do it and then she said be it unto me according to the word spoken this is a fundamental belief this is fundamental to your faith you must apply the word to you it does you no good to just have it out there as as a generalized belief that God could you must apply the word to yourself say I must, I must apply, apply the, word the word to myself, to myself. if you want a performance of it well how do you apply it by saying it you apply the word by saying it second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13 we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written i believed and therefore have i spoken we also believe and therefore speak we have a general belief that god is able he can do anything therefore we speak be it unto me according to the word was Paul preaching faith yes he's preaching about the spirit of faith according as it is written I believed therefore I speak we believe that God can and we speak be it unto me according to thy word and there's a performance of it Jesus taught and preached saying the word of God mark chapter 2 verse 9 this is Jesus a faith preacher whether it is easier to say to the sick of the palsy thy sins be forgiven thee or to say arise take up thy bed and walk which is easier to say neither one he didn't say believe did he which is easier to say you apply the word by saying it Say, I apply the word, apply the word. By, saying by saying it why didn't he say which is easier to believe because that's exactly what you were thinking when I said that well it's harder to say this because it's harder to believe why didn't he say believe Jesus taught and preached saying the Word of God three times as much as the believing part he preached and taught on saying the word three times as much as the believing part mark 11 22 and jesus answering saith unto them have faith in god or in the margin says have the faith of god verse 23 for verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say unto the mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith three times as much preaching about the saying part as the believing part 
listen when you get the saying part right the believing takes care of itself say when i get, when I get the saying part the saying. Right, right the believing part, the believing part takes, care takes care of itself because there's faith in the word of god and that faith gets into you with a vehicle of saying and hearing not even your faith have the faith of God it's God's faith that comes people that despise me for saying that are the kind of people that have never had this happen for them or have never worked it Romans 10 17 says so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God well if faith came by hearing the Word of God there must have been faith in the word of God itself faith just comes if you hear the word of God faith comes with it what if I want more faith you need to hear it more how does hearing come how do you hear the word of God it has to be spoken saying the word of God initiates what I call the faith feedback loop because when you say the word you hear the word and when you hear the word faith comes and then you say it again and you hear it again and more faith comes I preached that message over 20 years ago now and I'll put a link down below it's worth listening to again and again In mark 11 22 we just read it have the faith of God it's God's faith we can have God's faith say I can have, I can have God's, faith. God's faith what will that produce the thing it said mm -hmm. where'd that faith come from the Word of God the spoken Word of God are you here mm -hmm. and I've said this so many times I really want you to get it there is power in every Word of God to bring itself to pass what power is in that Word of God God's faith Isaiah 55 verse 11 so shall my what be so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what is a word that goes forth out of a mouth the spoken word so shall my spoken word be it my spoken word shall not return to me void but it my spoken word shall accomplish there shall be a performance of it what shall there be a performance of the spoken word there will be a performance of the spoken word would it be okay if i believed there would be a performance of the spoken word yes would that be a belief I should have mm -hmm. remember there's two kinds of belief one there God can do anything generalized belief makes you a believer mm -hmm. and then the other one is that his word will be performed for me his spoken word shall accomplish that which I please and it the spoken word will prosper in the thing whereunto it was sent if I speak God's word I believe that it will prosper and accomplish and have a performance of the thing said if I speak God's Word I believe that it will prosper and accomplish and have a performance of the thing said is there power in every word of God yes if it's a healing verse of Scripture what kind of powers in there healing, healing specifically faith for healing right but it will produce it will accomplish it will product it will prosper what it will accomplish healing if it's a youth renewal verse of scripture the spoken youth renewal scripture will accomplish what youth renewal, youth renewal. it begins to amend it begins to take place say when i speak, when I speak god's, word, god's word, out word out my mouth it begins to take place for me this is fundamental to your faith 
you've got to go here you've got to live here this is how you walk with God God who God the Holy Ghost remember we're talking about how to have anything you want from God and we said all the promises of God are yes he's already said yes mm -hmm. how do we get the power and you already said that the power is in that word to bring itself to pass it will begin to accomplish it how do we get it out speaking. by speaking it come to the front mm -hmm. the said word of God shall not return void the said word of God will accomplish the thing whereunto it was sent this is how we walk with God in the earth today Luke chapter 18 and then uh, verse 8 nevertheless say nevertheless, nevertheless when the Son of Man cometh shall he find faith on the earth so now here we see that if the Son of Man cometh so he's talking about the end of days when the Son of Man cometh yes. which means of necessity he's not here yes. right he has to come from somewhere and we know that happens to be heaven he will come so when he comes mm -hmm. say when he, comes, when he comes is he going to find faith where on the earth and if he's finding it it means it's not something he is actively doing anything about it's something he's gonna come and either find or not find mm -hmm. and what did he say faith is he gonna find faith what have we defined faith as believing not only that God can do anything but believing the said word of God accomplishing things in our lives will he find this here on the earth what he will find is you speaking and walking with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today that is your faith that is how you walk with God that's the faith he is going to find you having and walking in all the promises of God yes and amen everything you want every promise fulfilled this is how you do it this is what he will find Holy Ghost I thank you that we get to walk with you as God in the earth today speaking in agreement with your word and having a performance of those things in our lives this pleases you and this is exactly what Jesus will come and find when he returns we thank you for it in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship you I speak your words out my mouth and I have them begin to come to pass the beginning of wealth and riches be in my house I give you glory in Jesus name Amen. Jesus at his right hand.